This is Bacala, one of our favorite stops along the Yucatan Peninsula. The main attraction in Bacalar is its beautiful lagoon, which is known as the Seven Color Lagoon due to its amazing blend of tropical blue colors. Bacalar is becoming a trendy destination. You will find cocktail lounges, vegan restaurants, and yoga retreats. But it also has a strong authentic feel and in our opinion, the town still does a good job of balancing local and traveler friendly options. In this video, we share with you how to watch the most beautiful sunrise of your life and how to explore all the different sides of Bacalar. Birds though? It sounds like a jungle is waking up. But it's definitely very dark. We have been in Bacalar for three days now, but a lot of our days have looked like this. So we're very excited to explore the Laguna de Siete Colores for the first time today. We're at the entrance to the park where we're going to be kayaking from. It's only five minutes from our place and we came here yesterday and spoke to our friend Fidel. Who mentioned that you know we could wake him up, he sleeps here, and that'll be open at 6.30. So far it looks pretty close, so we might have to like holler at Fidel and get him out of bed. It's definitely locked. So maybe it is open, you just need a little muscle. I gave up too easily. Yeah. Uh, See, I told you. We're in. <laughs> Look, we're breaking in. We're not, I promise. Let's go find Fidel. I heard someone in the bathroom. I hope he's not in the bathroom. There's someone in the restrooms. He's definitely in the bathroom. So we'll give him a minute. <laughs> Hola, buenos días. Hola, buenos días. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful sunrise. Oh my goodness, that is already so pretty. I'm so happy right now. I love love sunrises like you have no idea. I love them so much that every year for my birthday I request to start the day with coffee and a sunrise no matter where we are. And this, I'm pretty sure this one is going to be one of my favorites ever. It's already so, so pretty. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. What do you think about your Bacalar sunrise? This is perfect. It's beautiful, right? Mm -hmm. See, it's always worth it. <laughs> it's always worth the early wake up call. We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright oh. That was a beautiful sunrise. It was super serene, like the only thing you could hear were all the birds in this jungle area. Very peaceful. But now that the sun is coming up, the lagoon is going to change colors. You'll see why they call it La Laguna de los Siete Colores. It's going to turn different shades of blue and white. And the best place to see that is a place called Pirate's Canal, which is a little bit, a little bit down. So we got a kayak. 
So the town of Bacalar is all on the western shore of the lagoon, which you can see, I guess, behind me. And then everything on the eastern shore is protected land, so they're not allowed to develop on that side, which is awesome because this is also a pretty like sensitive habitat. So if they like develop it too much, then it can damage the entire ecosystem. So hopefully it stays this way. Looking like a jaguar then a plane. I spot a pirate. Like how I paddle very straight. You're trying to see as much as possible of the lagoon. Uh oh. <laughs> this is why we always do tandems. <laughs> so shallow. It's like one foot of water. We're about to have another crash. <laughs> That's like a T bone. <laughs> It's about nine in the morning and the sun has come up a little bit higher and now you can start to see why they call it the seven colored lagoon. All these different colors of blue and turquoise and white are starting to pop up and it's super beautiful. And the reason they, it gets the different colors is because the, the bottom of the lagoon is this very fine limestone sand and depending on the different depths of the water it makes the different colors pop. Definitely one of the most unique places that we've ever been. We're gonna hang out here for a while. Make sure the kayaks don't float away and just enjoy this beautiful place. It's really, really incredible. Boring. I'm not ready. Ready for lunch? Let's go. Pollito? Pollito. It's pretty intense that last 40 minutes. Yeah. Still pretty though? Mm hmm. Can't get it out of the Wanna hear something funny? What? They have found crocodiles in this lagoon before. That's not funny. Figure I'd save it till the end. <laughs> that is so mean. Well, we didn't see them. It's rare. It's rare to see crocodiles, but they have seen them. Okay. I just. I don't know. Crocodile size. Aren't you happy you didn't know? I broke your trust. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I hate crocodiles. <laughs> it's very rare that there is crocodiles. This is where you come to get your kayaks. You have to talk to them the night before to let them know that you're going to be here for sunrise. So that's it. And you talk to Fidel, and he's the guy. Sunrise was beautiful, the lagoon was beautiful, we stayed there much longer than we should have and now it's already lunchtime and as much as I love sunrises, G loves chicken! It sounds weird but I, <laughs> I really love chicken, especially grilled chicken and on the main street in, across town in Bacalar there's all these grilled chicken places this one looked extra good because they have this giant spit the guy's just like sitting here like rotating it and grilling it all They're throwing in like a bunch of wood to make it smoky it looks delicious. There's so many cool like local places in Bacalar. That was a revelation, a, a very nice surprise. Now it's time to dig in. It smells good. We have our spicy sauces, a bag of rice. I'm hungry too. That was a lot of kayaking this morning. Best meal we've had in Mexico. I disagree. I'm no. We're back, we're clean, we're rested, we took a shower, we took like a 45 minute nap and we're back in the streets of Bacalar. Yeah, so now we're in Bacalar's town center and we're excited to show you around some of the 
cool local spots but also some of the like trendier like restaurants and shops that are here for like tourists yeah it feels like the city is changing a little bit but it still has a really good mix and a really mm -hmm. good balance and we really really like it here and we're almost at the lagoon right now so we're going to show you how that looks like from the town center we just tried to go into the lagoon as you can see behind me it's pretty much the same that you saw this morning but you have to pay a 40 pesos fee to enter which is like two dollars and it's fine it's just that we saw it and we're just gonna be here for five minutes so we didn't want to pay it but they have like different entrances with facilities and bathrooms and restaurants this one has slides and you can just like enjoy the water from here and it's super beautiful but it's we're just not going to do it right we ever mentioned this but this is a freshwater lagoon and there are no beaches but there are a ton of different like entry points along the town if it's like one of those private clubs that we just showed or if you go through a restaurant and you can just come here and hang out all day and like go in and out of the water hang out on the grass and there's also a ton of like sailboat tours which are like one of the most sustainable ways to explore the lagoon so that looks super awesome i heard the sunset rides are incredible we're not doing it but they're supposed to be pretty cool and it's just really beautiful Make it? There's plenty of space. I see something. I think it's nose. No, it's just touching his face. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Are you ready to try the best thing in life? I'm ready to try it. I love mango. Usually I wouldn't put tahin on it. I might have loves it with tahin. I'm more of a mango purist. But we've been waiting days to try this. And it looks the mango looks super ripe. The mango is very good. I still prefer it without tahin, but it's good. A little bit of lime on there, some citrus. Delicious. Our last fun fact about Bacalar is that this is one of Mexico's magical cities, which means that it receives additional funding from the Mexican government to help develop it. So a lot of the construction that you see in the town center and also along the lagoon is all coming in from the state to help spruce it up and to attract more tourists. So we don't think Bacalar is going to stay undeveloped for much longer, but we're going to enjoy it for now while it is still like this and we're going to find some dinner. Cheers. We hope you enjoy exploring Bacalar with us today. This place is beautiful. As you can see, I, it's not hard to understand why we fell in love with it. We cannot say this enough. Please come here before it gets too busy. And yeah, we're just gonna end the night here, have a drink, have dinner. And please like the video if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe because in the next video, we're gonna keep exploring Bacalar on a day trip and we're gonna continue to explore the Yucatan Peninsula. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.
Thank you. 